All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am uh, working on a project that I've been neglecting for a while, my 37 Alice Chalmers WC. As you can see, this wheel is off. Uh, the rim that was on it, uh, over time, it had calcium and water in it for weight. It uh, rotted the rim away, which I'll throw a picture in here of what it looked like and what we had to do to get it off. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't film any of that and I didn't film putting the new one together, but the new one is sitting here ready to go on, which I realized uh, in 2017, I drove all the way down to somewhere in Virginia, I don't even remember where it was, but down near Roanoke to pick up the set of uh, spoked wheels for this. And I also got a set of spoked wheels for the front. So uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning this up a little bit, give it the Craigslist rebuild and uh, throw this uh, new wheel back on. <clears throat> Uh, make some room here. I got a lot of cinder blocks here for my fire ring that I used to have. They're kind of in the way from the wheel. I'm actually gonna stop this for a second, grab a rake, and get rid of these leaves. So I went ahead and relocated the blocks, and I got smoke because I just lit off some leaves and it, that was a good idea. Now it's blowing right on me. Awesome. Anyway. Gonna start off with a quick wire wheeling here and clean up and I forgot brake clean. Oh well. Figure it out. So I just realized that the uh, snowblower handle was in the way in that shot, so i uh, put you in a different location. <laughs> anyway, um, so just give it a little, you know, farmer's touch, a little wire wheel, clean some of the dirt off, and just give it a coating of the right shade of orange. I know, it's the wrong shade. It's supposed to be Persian orange like this, but... The tractor was repainted back in 1980 at the dealership, and this was the color they went with, and the decals that are on it are what they pulled off the parts shelf to put on it. So, um, debating on whether I want to preserve it the way it is, or eventually strip it down, repaint it, you know, restore it, put the right decals on it. Um, kind of leaning more towards preserving it the way it is just because of where it came from and the sentimental value. I know you diehard Alice guys are probably screaming at me right now, but hey, it's my tractor. I can do what I want with it. <laughs> the only thing that I could ever suggest with that was the people with the people who like to comment things about, you know, you should do it like this and you should do it like that and it should be like that and it should be like that. Well, do you want to pay for it? Gladly send me the money and I'll do it the way you want it done. Otherwise, it's my tractor. It's my money. I'm on low budget. I have no money. So I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. That's the way I want to do it. That's just how I look at it. Not to pick on you or give you a hard time, but that's just the reality of it, I guess. But I'm going to wipe this grease off my hand. I just realized it's on my finger. So I'm going to do that and bring the wheel over and start putting it on. <clears throat>
I'm doing a little touch up on the wheel from uh, Mountain Tire, so give me a minute. Darn close, gotta come up some. I could try turning the hub. Actually, I don't know what the hub needs to be turned. Uh, Got one. <laughs> yeah, it does need to be turned. Oh, come on. I have to go up a little more. That helped. dirt and mud and we're making do. So I'm not sure why they did this with these. This is, uh, I've seen it on more than one, too. They give you six lug wheels, but it only has five lug nuts on it. It's like it has an alignment pin or a stud in one hole, but only five lug studs. I'm not sure why they did that. So this go around, it's just the tire and tube. I did not put calcium in it. I have no plans of putting calcium in it. Could probably do washer solvent, but I really don't have a need for it. It's pretty heavy as it is without it, so. Come on now, stay on there.
Guess I'm gonna be hitting that again. Yeah, well, adds character. That's good. Good to see this thing back on four wheels again. <laughs> nicer is uh, it holds air. <laughs> so there it is. Back on. Round like it's supposed to be. Unlike this side. Which is not quite round. So we're going to go ahead and throw air in it for now. I'm not swapping this one out just yet. Because this wheel's not bad but not as bad as the one that was on the other side I mean the one that was on the other side this was just gone around the valve stem so I do plan on having this swapped out but I think I'm actually gonna save up some money and take it somewhere and have it done rather than me doing it again because that was a struggle <laughs> let's just put it this way we started this last summer <laughs> on the other side and then I have the gas tank off because I got to clean that out and clean the carburetor and get it running again, get it moving under its own power again. Oh, this is another interesting dilemma I have for now. We got this portable air compressor. That's powered by a plug, but unfortunately the plug broke and I had to tape it up just to make it work. So it doesn't fit in the actual plug anymore. So I have to use this jump pack, which has a compressor built into it that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so I use the clamps on the ground and the power of the plug for now. That's pretty good.
So another reason why I'm not worrying about switching this one out just yet is because it does kind of hold air for a little bit. Since I aired it up now, it'll probably stay somewhat round for a couple weeks at least. So that'll be good enough for the show. Actually, I'll put a something up for the show for uh, the old time Plowboys Kutztown show uh, at the end of the month here in April. Actually, today is uh, Easter, so happy Easter. Uh, but uh, the goal is to get this to that show. So anybody who's interested in coming to the Kutztown show, maybe you can see it in person. Uh, looks like it's leaking water out of the tire. Yeah. Well, they're 85-year-old tires, so I mean... wasn't a squirrel this bird so yeah it's round again <laughs> somewhat now goal next is to get it running so get it take the gas tank up clean that out I got some rust in it again and uh, I have another gas tank kind of on loan right now to decide whether which one I want to use which one will be the easiest to get up and going again or cleaned out and usable and hopefully I'll get this thing up and running again soon and sooner than you know the show so I can get it there okay a little update here I'm working on the gas tank I'm trying to get the debris and stuff out of it which I'm finding out there's a lot more rust in there than I thought I've been using this extended magnet and sloshing gas around old gas around to clean it out and that's what I've gotten out so far <laughs> a lot more than I thought was in there not including what went in there from the gas so just giving you a little update on that still working on it and uh, if I can't get this one going, luckily I have a backup right here, which is, like I said, kind of on loan from a friend uh, named Phil, who's another Alice Chalmers collector friend of mine from one of the tractor clubs that I'm with. So he uh, gave this to me on loan for right now. If need be, I'll end up purchasing it from him if I do end up having to use it. So I uh, want to try to keep this one, since it's the original tank, to the tractor, if at all possible, which so far so good. I'm getting a lot of stuff out, but it's, you know, it's just time consuming. So I'm not going to film all that because obviously that's, you know, boring. Plus this matches the paint that's already on the tractor where that one doesn't. So I'd have to paint that one to match and then it would look nicer than the rest of the tractor so uh i'm gonna keep going with this one and see how progress goes and i'm gonna look into uh doing some kind of a coating inside of it i know there's different coatings out there i'm actually gonna try um going to phil and another guy um another guy tom suggested checking out um can't think of the name of it off the top of my head I'm doing that look at that finger thing doing that hand thing again um i'm not sure what to do with my hands uh be good just to hold them down by okay. your side yeah great dirty yuck <sighs> uh, it'll come to me i'll put it on the screen <laughs> <laughs> It just came to me. Eastwood. They told me to try out Eastwood, go to them, talk to them, because there's a location in Pottstown, which isn't too far from, about half an hour from me. Uh, so I'll go down there, see what they suggest, see what they have product-wise, to see about coating the inside of this tank. But first thing is get it cleaned out. And if I can at least get it cleaned out enough that I can put gas in it to run the tractor, I'll be happy with that, and then worry about coating it later. So, continuing on. All right, well, that light is really bright. I'm using my phone light because, as you can tell, it's dark out now. I did put these lights up in here thinking that it would help, but 
it's not. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is just a short snippet of me working on the WC. So hopefully if you folks enjoyed it and want to see more, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And I will be doing some updates as I go along to getting it up and running again. Shouldn't take much. Like I said, I got to pull the carburetor off, clean it out. Uh, a lot of rust coming out of the tank, as you saw. So uh, once I get that cleaned out and figure out getting it coated, um, should be good to go. So uh, I have, do have other tractor projects, the garden tractor projects. So I'll probably be working on some of those as well. But in the meantime, enjoy the. All right, well, sorry for the creepy outro. Uh, as you can see, it has gotten dark now, so project day is over, and I don't know if that's showing up on your end or not, but those lights are not blinking on and off. They're staying on around me. That's weird. Okay, so I don't know if that's picking up on the camera or not, because from what I'm seeing on the screen, they're... Squirrel! Anyway... <laughs> So that's going to wrap it up for work on the WC for today. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I worked on it. The uh, Last year, we were trying to get it ready. My friend Tom and I were trying to get it ready for the Plowboys show in Kutztown for the, I guess that's the fall show? Summer show, August show. And uh, didn't quite make it. <laughs> so now I'm pro in the process of trying to get it going for the spring show, which is coming up at the end of the month. I will put up a link to the Facebook page and website in the description below if you want to check that out. And also the date's probably coming up on the uh, bottom of the screen as we're doing our outro here. So uh, also wanted to mention there is a plow day in Hereford, Pennsylvania next Saturday, the 15th. Again, today is Easter. I'll try to get this edited and up tonight. Um, if not, you'll see it tomorrow, meaning Monday. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed watching the progress of the tractor work today. Uh, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and give the video a like if, if you wanna see more. If you're not already subscribed, I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, I do have other tractor projects in the, in the works here. I got some garden tractors that need some work. I have one behind me that I gotta get working on for JP videos so that he has one of his own. Um, and uh, you'll see that probably in future videos on both channels. <laughs> but, uh, oops, I let the cat out of the bag. Anyway, I uh, want to thank you for watching. Again, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Sorry for the crappy light. I'm using my phone light because I don't have any other lights out here other than the ones that are behind me. Uh, which I just put up to give me some kind of light in here. Um, this is my, I guess you can call it my shop now. Low budget, very low budget. Pole Barn Garage, if you're watching. I'm even more low budget than you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and comment. Tell me what you like to see and We'll try to make. Yeah, I'm outside, so somebody just did a burnout or something. Uh, if you enjoyed watching what I have done so far, the progress of the WC for today, uh, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more, there will be more as I progress with the tractor and leading up to the show, which will be at the end of the month. I will put the date on the bottom of the screen right here. Plus, I'll put a link to their Facebook and website if they have one in the description, which, yes, they do, uh, in the description below. So you can go check it out. It's the Old Time Plowboys. Uh, it'll be the spring show, and that'll be in Kutztown at the German Heritage Center at the college. Again, all the information will be in below in the description below um but if you do enjoy the tractor projects i do have plenty more
garden tractors that I need to work on and uh, probably be doing some videos on those as well. So if you're new here and would like to subscribe to see more, please do. Feel free to uh, like the video and drop a comment and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.